Hello everybody, so quick video today. We're looking at difference between a queue, a stack, and a heap. Now, it may not be useful to you, but it could be if you get ever get a test, or an exam, or an interview, something like that. And it's good to know anyway, especially if you ever program in another language, such as C, because then it becomes more relevant to you. So what we've got is three examples. Very quickly, if you want to just skip to the, uh, <laughs> just cut to the chase, a queue. A queue, first in, first out. So if we put in an A, then a B, then a C, what do we get out first? The first one in, so we get an A. So let's just run this cell. And there you see, A comes out first, then followed by B, followed by C. First in, first out. So that's how a queue works. A queue. And there's a, you can also get, um, you may have seen from collections import DQ. Uh, I'm not going to cover that here, but that's also available with Python. So next, um, removing elements from the queue. So if we run this, you can see pop zero. And because we're treating it as a queue, we're going to pop zero. And what that's doing is it's popping A, then B, and then C. So A was the first one in. So the first one in is at zero. Then A's gone. So then the first one, it, uh, it uh, index zero, is then B, then C. So that's um, Q, first in, first out. And you may hear this also with things like uh, Quality of service with VoIP or with networks, first in, first out, it's a method of priority, uh, queuing, queue priority. Stack, last in, first out. So if we put in an A, and then a B, and then a C, if you imagine it going A first, then a B, then a C, first out is going to be the C. So here we go, let's run this. And there we go. So, um, uh, append. So we're going to append A, then B, then C. So the initial stack is A, B, and C, with A at the bottom, then B, then C. So then if we do the pop, but without the zero this time, because what we're going to be doing is we're actually just going to pop it from the top. So with a Q, you want to do pop with zero in brackets. With a stack, you just want to do a standard pop. And there you go, C, B, A. So last in, first out. So you've got first in, first out, which is the queue. Last in, first out, which is the stack. And then quickly, if we just go over to the last cell here, or the last pair of cells, we've got heap. Heaps, there's a bit more to heap, and you can also you need to use import heap queue, as you can see there. Um, if you have a list, five, seven, nine, one, and three, what we'll do is we'll use heapq.heapify and then the list inside the brackets. So heapq is the class, heapify is the method, and li is the list. So if we run that, we won't see anything. And then if we print it, the created heap is 1, 3, 9, 7, and 5. So if we do heap push to push elements into the heap pushes four so if you put four into that heap so the heap's got uh, five elements we're going to put in four run that and now if we run if we print the list now we've got one three four seven five and nine so what we've actually done is we've put heap into the heap we've put the number four and then if we this is the powerful bit. So we're going to do heap pop to pop the smallest element. And then we will do heap pop. You can also do the largest element, but by default, you'll be doing the smallest element. So what we're going to do by doing heap pop on a heap is get rid of the number one. So if we do print here, the smallest element is one. And then if we just did li again from here, print li, run this. And you'll see we've just got three, five, four, seven, and nine. One has been popped. So when you pop on a heap, 
By default, you'll lose the smallest element. Using po heat pop to pop the smallest element. If you want this Jupyter notebook, I can uh, put it on GitHub. Really, I got most of the uh, examples from geeksforgeeks.org. So if you want to read further, read a bit more in depth, it's there. So really, this is just a quick video just to cover it, just to kind of um, just bring it to your awareness. If you ever do kind of any um, study where there's kind of uh, you're covering the, you know, the real nuts and bolts of the programming language, you will come across this. And also, as I say, if you come across Quas, quality of service, um, priority queuing with networks and so on, um, you'll come across first in, first out, last in, first out. You might also come across weighted random early detection, but I'm going off on a tangent there anyway. So yeah, heap, stack, queue. So thank you for watching and I'll be back soon. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up and all that. Thank you. Bye.